This was the first ice dive for me, but thankfully I had several talented freedivers with me. In this episode I will give you 7 tips to make your own experience both pleasant and safe. The first tip is to make sure that the ice is thick enough. 10 to 15 centimeters is a minimum. You don't want to fall in with your equipment before diving. And uh, if the ice is too thin, it will break when you try to get up. The second tip is to have the right tools with you. You can either use a chainsaw or combine an ice drill with an ice saw. If you're strong, it's possible to use an axe as well. Make a triangle entrance. It makes it easier for the divers to get up and it looks pretty nice as well. How does it feel better? And you just eat. Bloody amazing. Yeah. And you? Sometimes we try to go in the water. I'm excited. You're excited. Yeah. We were like, Are you the one who has most experience when it comes to ice diving <laughs> of all of us? <laughs> No, I think yeah, Dennis is the one. Uh, Dennis, yeah, of course. Yeah, because he's been doing scuba <laughs> diving as well for quite a while on the ice. Uh, and you also you almost died on the ice, Yeah, right? I died. <laughs> <laughs> if you call that good or bad. Passed out. What, yeah. what happened like exactly? Like, yeah. you, you, swam, you swam far, right? Yeah. 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 And it was, we had the similar like this and then the scuba yeah. divers had a hole. Oh, and you... And the last dive I was going to their hole. Right. And. Uh, the line was too short, my safety line, and then I was like, I want my brother to let go, and he let go. And then I was like, oh shit, I need to turn around and go back, and then I didn't have any air. So on my way back, I passed up, and we didn't have any safety rope. So he went down in a hole, and he found the other end of the rope, and he <sighs> pulled me up. So I was, I was away for like four minutes or something before he, he made me... But <laughs> if you're going to black out for that long, the best place to black out is cold water. Yeah. That's for sure. Because if it was warm water for four minutes, it's like not not as much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chan. Okay, that, that won't happen today, right? No. <laughs> so was it four minutes from the start of the breath hold to reviving? No, when they were. Four minutes after yeah. the blackout. That's, that's yeah, a long that's time. Long. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was cool. My brother did uh, like the first level of freediving with me, so I just. Him the <laughs> <You just <laughs> <laughs> good, good investment. Yeah. Good investment. Third tip: When you cut a hole in the ice, make sure to remove or push away the ice block far. You don't want the ice block to slide back and plug the exit or entrance. Tip number four: Don't forget the, the safety equipment. If you plan to dive down deep, use a buoy with a line and attach a lanyard to it. If you plan to swim between holes, have a rope between the holes for guidance. If you plan to swim far, it's a good idea to have a rope around your body. However, make sure that the rope is long enough for you to reach the other hole. Tip number five. Make sure that the dive spot has clear water. It's crucial that you can see where you're going, that you can see your dive body and exit hole. If the water is murky, don't dive. Tip number six. It's important to focus when you dive under the ice. Be aware of the distance to the hole, make sure that you know where you are and follow the light. There is no room for mistakes, so don't take any risks. How does it feel, Dean? Sorry? How does it feel? It feels really nice, yeah. It's a um, really strong dive reflex. It's like the the heart is like super slow. <sighs> tip number seven. Finally, and probably the most important tip, never ever dive alone. This is always important when it comes to free diving, but extra important under the ice. Even a shallow dive can be fatal if you don't find the hole. Make sure to always have a safety buddy watching you, even on short or shallow dives. 